Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 6 of my Minecraft Stone Block Let's Play! <laughs> um, last episode we were just getting caught up with some things that I had done offline. Or, well I wasn't recording. Um, and in between episodes I still haven't killed enough zombies. Oh my god, I've, I've killed like... Uh, two or three and only one of them um, maybe it's dropped a flesh oh it's so frustrating I mean I've got I go over there every time I see mobs over there I'm just not getting very many zombies and not getting very many zombie flesh drops so it's crazy I think I'm up to eight now so I think we need four more. So we'll keep an eye on it during the episode. Maybe we can get it <laughs> and maybe we won't. Um, but today, what I want to do is I want to go over and check the, the ground traps because um, I did get, in between episodes, I did get the room dug out. You can see in the upper right corner of the mini map, I planted wheat potatoes and carrots um, I didn't plant the watermelon or uh, the pumpkin because I don't have a, the room for that just yet I might make a separate farm for that um, let's I see some mob spawn over there so let's go have a look oh it looks like just a bunch of creepers I did make a mattock to um, uh, till the farmland and the mattock also makes a very good weapon um, it has a 6.4 attack damage and the sword only has 4.85 so it's a bit better than the sword oh look at that that iron hammer has 11 attack damage but <laughs> I made two iron hammers and that's what's left after cleaning out that room so uh, I guess we could put experience in there. We're not really going to get spiders over there because it's only one wide. I think you have to have like a three wide. Area for it to spawn. <laughs> I've been... Ah. Oh, I also, we also got a couple of sugar canes. I planted those around the water source in the middle. Uh, so we do have a little bit of sugar cane coming in. Um, and I, the cobble that I had, uh, nine stacks of it, I turned it into gravel. And um, I moved our sieving up and I took the, the lower tier sieves out um, so that I could move all our sifting stuff upstairs boop, boop, up there ah, ah. you want to see it you want to see it but anyway i sifted up like nine stacks of gravel and um i've been just sending the stuff through here uh wow that smelted really fast uh just been sending the stuff through I had a lot of iron. Let's go look so you can see. Tons of iron from that. It's awesome. I'll be able to make more hammers now. What we might want to do is upgrade our Tinker's tool table so we can get a Tinker's hammer and they might last. Uh, you know, we'll get experience on it and it'll be even better hammer than before so we might look at doing that um, uh, I used the carrots I had a little bit of bone meal or I had killed some skeletons and I had like three bones on me oops speaking of which um, and I turned the bones into bone meal so that I could uh, get some more seeds uh, get some more carrots planted. Uh, carrots are really good at um, multiplying. 
so I got those finished. Oh my goodness, there's Ender Meanies over here. Uh oh. Okay. Let's take care of these Yahoos. Hey, over here! <laughs> this is how I killed the Enderman. Haha, uh -huh, you can't get me. I'm smarter than you are. Oh, and he dropped the meat bag. Uh, speaking of which, last, um, I did kill a zombie. The one zombie that dropped, um, uh, zombie flesh, uh, actually dropped. He dropped a, uh, a loot bag as well. And I want to show you the things that I got out of it. I think that, uh, is broken. So we need to repair it. Um. I got a storage upgrade, a render upgrade, five nether quartz, four blaze powder, and there was something else. It was completely filled. Oh, the end stone here. That was, uh, that was what was in there. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, that was it. So let's see what's in this one. Oh, two iron and some Crappio punji sticks. <laughs> I wouldn't say no to the iron, but the punji sticks are. What is this? Alum. Oh no! Did I, how did I get the aluma brass? I must have accidentally put the copper with the aluminum, but I didn't think I did. I don't know. It doesn't matter. We'll probably use it anyway. Awesome. Oh, let's... While we're here, let's go get um, a couple of these guys. and repair. Oh, look at that. More mobs are over there. We gotta get over there. I want to make sure if there's a zombie spawns, I can get a hold of him. Oh, are you a zombie? Oh, skeleton. Snickerdoodle. I think I heard a zombie villager? Are you a zombie villager? It's a. Oh, it even tells you what it is. So, it says career farmer. So, that's pretty cool. Um. Oh. I don't like these little guys. I'm gonna kill him anyway. It's cool that they tell you what their career is gonna be. <gasps> you dropped some red flesh, two of it. <gasps> I have ten. Oh, I think that's that's what we needed. Yes. Excellent day. <laughs> I love it. All right, let's check in because uh, we'll get a reward bag for that. Awesome! And that tells us to go to automate our farms. Automate your mob farm. Two fans, four iron spikes, and an item collector. I think we can do that. The, the fans don't take redstone, neither does the iron spike, and I don't think this does either. I think you just need some, an ender pearl, an obsidian, which we have, and a hopper, which we have tons of iron now, so I think we can do that. <sighs> Um, you know, these might not be bad later on because I believe in some of these loots you can get glasses that will help you, like, you can look at a chance cube and see, um, the value on it, whether it's going to be a good one or a bad one when it's placed on the ground. Uh, so that was kind of cool. So we'll see about that. Uh -huh. 
So we did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We might work on that. Uh, but let's look at this. Um, I want to see what kind of things it dropped. I made four. I had like um, every time, every combine you get four bait. So for one carrot and three string, I got four bait, four veggie bait. And uh, I put that all in one and it gave me three feathers. So I'm curious, is it only going to drop the feathers? Oh my goodness. Look at that. We got chicken meat, raw chicken, raw duck, raw venison, raw pork chop, and a leather. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Oh, we get some more. We get another feather, a bone, some pork chops. Oh, we got meat. Meat for days. Holy cow. More feathers. Um, raw mutton. Awesome. Oh, these are awesome. I love it. Just look at it. Um, from what I remember, these are kind of, kind of a pain to automate. Um, I think, like it, uh, it will only allow you to take out of the bottom and put in through the top. I don't know. We might have to try, um, try some Ender I.O. pipes on those. Uh, my husband played with it, so he knows all about it, but uh, I didn't. I didn't mess around with those in our uh, when, when we played it together, so I'm not exactly sure how it's going to work out. So that is freaking awesome. Uh, we have some real food. That's amazing. And we, we got it with carrots. <laughs> carrots and string. So that's really cool. We can turn our I also, um, let's see, let's finish off this one. I wanted two of wheat. There we go. We got two wheat, a potato, a carrot, and some sugar cane growing. And oh, that is so awesome. Look at all that good food. That is amazing. And plus they have cooking for blockheads in this. Uh, I love cooking for blockheads. It works so well with Harvest Harvestcraft. Um, you just, you, you get to do all the stuff and things. We're going to have to make a chest to, to store all our, our good food now. Maybe we'll make a little kitchen over there. Oh, this is so awesome. I love it. Um, Cause the, the cooking for blockheads has an awesome kitchen set up. It's a multi-block structure. You can just build it however you want it. You just have different um, things. Uh, let's say at cooking. Uh, see, they have a table, an oven, a fridge, a sink, a tool rack, a toaster, a milk jar, a cow in a jar, a spice rack, a kitchen counter, a kitchen cabinet, a kitchen corner, kitchen floor, a fruit basket, uh, the different books, a heating unit, an ice unit, and a preservation chamber prevents the last item of slot from being used up. Oh, that is kind of cool. That's a fridge upgrade. That's a fridge upgrade. And that's an oven upgrade. Allows to heat an oven using energy. Hmm. Interesting. I don't, um... I made the kitchen for my husband and he used it. He loves the farming and the cooking and uh, he did chickens. He just had a blast with those guys. 
uh, it's sort of the chickens are sort of like bees only only a little bit a little bit better it's better than bees it's like bees but better because of the fact that when you crossbreed them you don't get hybrids you get either one of the parents or the new offspring the the mutation <laughs> that turns it into something new so there is no partial partial of this parent partial of that parent it's either one of the parents or the new breed so that makes it a, a, a lot easier in my opinion I love it um, it sounded like a lot of fun but he he was really into it he was having fun I didn't want to you know interrupt his thing so I went upstairs um, grabbed all of the string out of the string the string bonsai plant it was like uh, 38 and then I made all of the carrots it was almost all of the carrots uh, I made into the bait I think I had like one extra left so yeah <laughs> um, Oh, this is awesome that uh, that gives you all the meat um, from the ground traps that is just I love it <laughs> um, plus you get a little bit of leather some bones um, that's just oh look at this baby skeleton it's got an armor of 19 bam bam Bam. I wish you could uh, crit by running forward. Whoa! You saw me. Ooh. Level up. Oh, that's an Enderman. He actually, it's not a... It's not a, a evolved Enderman. It was just a normal Enderman. Oh, look. Oh, I got a legendary loot bag. What? Oh, and I got an Ender Tear. What is that used in? Oh, you just... You can turn it into a gas tear. What? With a promise of tenacity and an Ender Tear. Hmm. Huh. Or you can smelt it. Eight. You could turn it into. Is that what I'm seeing? Is that you can turn it into eight ender pearls in the smeltery? Oh, <gasps> what? Or you can turn it into. I don't know what that. How much is it for one uh, gem? But I think, I think if that is crazy. I think the only way you can make a gem mold is by using an emerald. I don't think you can use anything else. Um, it's a cast, not a mold. This one, the gem cast, yeah, it has to be uh, a luma brass gold or molten brass. Um, on top of an emerald, wow! So that goes away. Oh no, you can do grinding balls. I don't know how to do those yet, and we don't have access to Ender IO just yet I don't believe yeah all of that stuff okay so pretty much an emerald you can do grinding balls but uh, I don't know how to make a grinding ball 
So we're going to turn this off and we're going to take this um, We're going to get one Aluma brass and we're going to put it in there. Um, eight Ender Pearls. That's awesome. Uh, we don't have a whole lot right now, so maybe later on that's not going to be such a big deal. But right now, right now it's amazing. That's going to make us lose our emerald, but I just smelted up a whole bunch. Okay, so... All right, let's see it. Eight gems, seven gems. Oh, yeah, so let's just turn that on. It'll drain it all out all by itself. That is super amazing. Oh, let's let it um, finish up there. So it's 250 millibuckets for an ender pearl. So that 2,000 in um, what was it? Oh, I don't have it anymore. Use you can make this. Okay. No, go back. Okay, smelt this guy, but you could do it. Why do we use that? Okay, in the magma crucible, 2,000 of that will still get you eight ender pearls at 250 each. So that is super cool and awesome. Okay, that's done. We can throw this cast in there. Um, this is a pattern chest. If you take a pattern chest and you put patterns in it, it's a pattern chest. But if you put casts in it, it's a cast chest. So you can't put casts in the pattern chest anymore. When you do, it turns into a cast chest. And then all you can put in it is cast. So there you go. Uh, now I want to see what is in this legendary loot bag oh my gosh <gasps> three wither skeleton skulls oh that is awesome uh diamond horse armor which i think you can pulverize these and two emerald storage upgrades spooky scary skeleton oh that is good that's the best storage upgrades you can get on uh storage drawers Three Wither Skeleton Skulls. Mm -mm -mm. And we can break those down, but I'm not having... I just sieved nine stacks of gravel, and I did very well on the diamonds and the emeralds. Um, enough that I felt comfortable using one of the emeralds in making a cast, and I... Uh, added to our diamond mesh collection here and we still have 10 diamonds and 25 emeralds left i'm getting some of this grains of infinity that's something uh for ender io that's necessary to make uh the machines so yeah, now i need more storage oh my gosh um I'm trying to think, what do I want to do? Let's go put this. I wanted to put that oh, away. Oh, we got glowstone arm, glowstone legs. Glowstone. All right. Um, got some of you. So I really want to... Um, Take those. That's an Enderman head, but this is. Oh, that is the Ender IO. That's the good one. Okay, we'll put those in there. Put that in there. I need a chest for all of this, this food stuff. We need to go get some storage over there. 
Or I could just do that off camera and we can work on the mob trap quest. Because I believe we have enough iron to do that and all the other stuff. So maybe we'll just... Oh, there's no room in there either. Let's make room. Uh, this is just going to be temporary. We're going to make the storage over at the farm area. We're just going to throw all this stuff in here for the now. For the now. Oh, we're going to need, I think, an ender pearl for the quest. Oh, dude, I had some in the chest over here. <laughs> I'm a ninny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I believe we're going to need a ton of iron. Um, how is our... Is this thing completely full? Holy cow. That is crazy. I love it. Um, so we need... A chest... A hopper and I believe is this the right one or uh, okay maybe I'm thinking of something else or what is it called the uh, item collector I could have swore it was uh all right let's see Item collector. Item collector. Oh, it's three obsidian. Okay. I thought it was just one. And maybe it used to be just one. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Bam. There's the item collector. And then, um,. Snickerdoodle. Four iron spikes and two fans. Uh, I want to keep that because what does it take to make the advanced one? Two glowstone and a redstone torch. We're totally going to do that afterwards. Okay, Gee, don't tell anybody. Maybe. Oh, because we're going to need that. Is it this one or... Was there another type of uh, item collector? I don't think that's the one I'm thinking about. from oh this is gonna bug me okay let's just get over it <laughs> um, I think we're gonna need some blocks of 
iron and some iron swords. Uh, oh, that's wrong. Oh, I, I think I counted that wrong. I think I need two more blocks of iron. Is that not the iron trap recipe? Iron spike, spiky boys, this one. Oh, it's only one block of iron. Oh, and that gets you four, so we we didn't need all those swords. Oh, holy crap. Um, I made the swords. Yep. Oh, why am I placing torches? Okay. It's because I have torches in my offhand. And then we need a fan. And I think the, the fan I'm going to need <coughs> one of these. Or it's going to be two of those. Um, and then some iron bars, I think. Oh, no, wait. It goes like that and that and that. Yeah. Sweet! Uh-huh. Awesome. Um, that is amazing. Oh, viaducts. I've never used these before. Uh, but it looks like it's for long range transportation. Fast transport between two specific locations. Transfer the players. Whoosh. Okay, I've never used those before, so I have no idea how to use them. Um, okay. So, I guess we would need some type of chest. I really like those crates because you can move them. Uh, when you pick them up, they keep their inventory, which is really nice. So, do, 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 do. I believe it was like this. For the core. And then... Oh, dude, I am short one. One plank. Yeah, I remembered the recipe. Okay, that should be good for now. Um, so maybe we'll replace these guys with our spikes here. Um... Oh, I can't, I can't place it? That's perfect, because I had that extra layer. Uh, so, oh, nerds. There we go, and then we put that back, and that back. And our little slabs here. Um, I believe these are actually letting in some light. Like this block, it looks like it can't be spawned on. Hmm. 
That's interesting. Even though that looks like the hitbox is a full block, so maybe we can knock this block out and this one and we'll place this here our item collector there I don't think you can do anything you can't adjust this one but I believe that will pick up Um, things through blocks. There we go. Now it's dark. Okay. <laughs> because uh, so that should pick up all the stuff. So now we need like, oh no, I need two more cobblestone. Where am I going to find the cobblestone? So we got to actually turn those fans on with the redstone signal. So all we need to do is come here and flip that on. Is that working? We should get pushed. No. Yeah, it's on. You can see it spinning. So we're not getting pushed because we're below it now. That Yeah, here we go. Okay, I was worried about the baby um, skeletons and stuff, if they would get pushed. But um, maybe not if they're right here. But definitely over here they'll get pushed. So yeah, now it's automated. <laughs> um, we could probably use those and make that farm bigger. Like I think um I think those fans do like a three wide pushing area and it goes like eight long. So we could probably at least make it that three wide so it's and then put more spikes um so we have like one spike and we would need five so I would actually use those swords that would be awesome so um, yeah maybe I'll work on that expanding this out to where it is uh, two more uh, deep and then I think if we put this, the fans in the middle, it'll blow all three lanes into it. So that would be awesome. Uh, okay, so I got a lot to do in between episodes. Uh, I get to expand that. Um, I want to get um, some storage for the, the farm area. And I plan on maybe expanding out that way with another one of these rooms and on the other side and that way and maybe one in the middle here and connect them all together. So they have like these little hallways and we go through. It'll be tons and tons of farming area for all, all the Pam's Harvest Craft stuff. So we can have... Um, plots for everything. That'll be awesome. Uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and call the episode here. Um, we did get a couple of quests done for the mob farm, which is awesome. And um, let's see, what are we planning on doing? Uh, I don't know that I want to do the auto sieve. I want to go a different direction than that, so we'll do this eventually, but just not now. And I'm, I'm not sure I want to do all, all the diamonds, because uh, I only have ten, and I'd rather use those for mesh, meshes, uh, than 
the cobble generator because the cobble generator is doing awesome right now for us um yeah and we're getting tons of cobble from cleaning our uh or clearing out areas for expansion so i don't think this is a priority uh we could do the floral fertilizer but it's sort of um uh, I think this doesn't really open anything up. You just get to do it. And all we need is red and yellow flowers and bone meal to make the floral fertilizer. So what the crap just happened? There we go. Huh. For some reason it I think I accidentally hit the window key and it opened that up and brought the the menu bar on the bottom. I don't like that. <laughs> so yeah, we'll we'll figure out something. Maybe we'll do this one and go to the nether after we get equip ourselves and oh, there there would be death. <laughs> death. Death and destruction. So Hmm, I'm not sure where I would want to put a nether portal. Nether portals make an annoying wishing sound. Um, so maybe what I do I didn't really leave myself open for Expansion. I see I should have went over like another three for this hallway and then I would be able to uh, dig here and go up another tier that's what I would like to do hmm. I don't know let me look down here so we do have, um, like if we were to go opposite of this and just do a good tunnel out that way. We could make a portal room there because I don't, that shouldn't interfere with the farming area because we're going to go to the east. So that would be fine. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Um, yeah, yeah. So next episode, we're probably going to go to the nether. Hooray. Um, so I hope you join me again in the next episode. And if you do, hooray. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.